like to show you how to set up and edit scenes in Alice and use camera markers. We're going to start with the Sandy project and hit OK. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the edit scene mode and we're going to add some scenery to this. I'm going to use the city package and I'm just going to drag some various things onto the stage. I'm going to put in building cluster 1. I'm going to change my perspective here to sit a little higher. I'm going to drag in building cluster 2. And then I'm going to turn this way a bit and I'm going to add a museum. Now if I want to take a close look at each one, I can move my camera position. And I actually want to start back a little bit for the starting camera view. So we're going to come back here. I can change my angle. I can change where I'm pointing. And I'm going to create a camera marker here. Now I'm going to move a little bit to the right. I want to get closer to and look at my next set of buildings. Move down a little bit. I'm going to create a camera marker here. And I'm going to move over again. closer to the steps of the museum and we will change my direction slightly move over a bit and let's make that camera marker there all right now I've got my scene set up and I have camera markers I'm going to go into edit the code and show you how to change properties I have various items on my stage. Each one has its own property. The scene, I can go into the properties on and I can change properties for any of the things here. I want to change the ambient brightness, make it feel like it's a little bit later in the day. And I can hit run and test that. You can see it changes the ambient brightness. And we can change the atmosphere color if we wanted to make a little more foreign. We can change that. And we can change the global brightness, which really will give it more of an evening effect than the ambient light brightness did. I like to use them both. So we've made some changes to the basic scene. I want to go back to edit scene because I want my starting camera view to be in a different place and it's always going to be the place that we left it. So let's turn this around, move out a bit. I'm going to go out this way and then I want to turn the camera around till it's facing the city. Okay, so that's going to be my starting camera view. Let's go back into edit code. And we can also check any item that's on the stage. The ground, we can change its color. So I could make it more of a gray. Let's try that. And then we can actually move through the scene using the cameras. Now that's under the procedures. You'd have to make sure to select the camera. we have various options here. Let's see which one will work best. We want the camera to move to camera marker red. Let's try that.
Well, that's okay, but we want it to orient to face. Building cluster one, part one building. Let's try that again. And I believe here in testing on everything. Okay. And then we can try that to part four. Let's see if that gives me the result I'm looking for. Okay, I can live with that. And then in the next item we would move to the camera marker green. We can run that. And then we can move to camera marker magenta. And let's run that. So what I'd like you to do is something similar, not the exact same scene I've created. I'd like you to play around, put several pieces of scenery on a scene, put down different camera markers, move among them, and change your orientation. This is teaching you how to set up scenes so that we can move through them and having different characters react and la reacting later. This is also exa an example of programming. This is a basic procedure where you're moving through things one at a time. And this is a typical initial procedure that you learn, a sequence, where things just happen one after the other. So this is an example of sequential programming. We're going to do some more interesting stuff with it next week, but this is an example of how you would set up a scene and get ready to go, and we can do other things to make it happen more quickly together. I'd like you to play with changing properties, set up a scene, and then have your camera move through the different parts so that I can take a look at it. You'll save that and hand it in um, on our server.